to my live video. My name is Lauren Venosta. I'm a clinical nutritionist and a personal chef. Happy Monday to everybody. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and you had a relaxing weekend. I am here today with a live video on healthy homemade granola bars. And they take less than 10 minutes to make. Super fast, super simple, and really delicious. I love these and they're really versatile too. So you can take the base recipe and then add whatever you like in it, which is really exciting because then you can customize it to whatever you like, which is what the best recipes are when you can really do it however you like it to, you know, uh, satisfy your own preferences. So I wanted to just quickly talk about granola bars and how People think they might be healthy, but they're not. At least the store-bought ones. These ones will be. <laughs> but the ones you buy in the store are always loaded with tons of sugar, bad oils, uh, artificial flavorings or additives. So I wanted to quickly just bring up a popular granola bar that a lot of people think are healthy. And I wanted to read you some of the ingredients to show you that it's not as healthy as you might think. So. We will start, and I'll just list some of the ingredients. So whole grain oats, corn syrup, sugar, rice flour, vegetable glycerin, canola oil, fructose, corn starch, soy lecithin, salt, barley malt extract, natural flavor, and it's like, that's a granola bar? like. <laughs> Oats were the only thing that are good in that recipe, so that just goes to show you how many bad ingredients there are. And that's in a typical granola bar that you just buy off the shelf. And so when you're having that as a snack, I mean, those oils are really inflammatory. The sugar corn syrup, I mean, that's one of the worst sugars you can have for your body because high fructose corn syrup is really bad for your liver. and spikes your blood sugar levels. So when you're going for a healthy snack, store-bought granola bars aren't as healthy as they are made out to be. So don't make that mistake buying those in the grocery store. And if you do want to buy them in the grocery store, just flip the box over, read the labels, look at the ingredients list. And if you see all those bad oils or anything in there, just say, oh, nope, I'll skip this and I'll make my own. Because when you make your own, you can control the ingredients, which is the best part about making homemade snacks. It's hard to find healthy snacks. So when you can have a quick and easy recipe for a healthy snack, it's always great. Okay, so I'm just gonna hop right to it. So today I will show you, like I said, it's a very versatile recipe. And I'm gonna show you one of the flavors you can make, but I will tell you how you can make it with other things that you like. So today I'm gonna be making blueberry maple pecan granola bars. Don't those sound amazing? They're so delicious. I absolutely love them. I just had one like an hour ago because I had a bunch from when I was recipe testing this and I, I was hungry and I'm like, ooh, I'll have my granola bar. So I'll show you how to make that. So we're gonna start off, you need a food processor for this. So make sure you have one of those and you could probably make this also in a blender because we just need to make a paste. The rest of the bar is gonna be made just in a bowl. All right, so we're gonna start with one cup of packed dates. And you wanna make sure they're pitted. So if they come with pits in them, you wanna make sure you take those out. And when you're making the recipe, you wanna pack them in to this one cup measurement until you fit them all in. So there's no number to them, it's just one cup of dates fitted into your measuring cup. Okay. And then we're gonna do about two tablespoons of warm water. This will help loosen up the dates a little bit. And then we need a quarter cup of maple syrup. So this recipe is actually gluten-free and vegan as well, since there's no honey. But if you wanted to use honey, you definitely could for this recipe, instead of maple syrup if you'd like. This flavors just go really well. The blueberries and the maple and the pecan, it's just so yummy. Who do I have watching today? Post a comment and let me know you're here. If you have questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Okay, 
So that's what we're going to start with, just the dates, the maple syrup, and the warm water. And we're going to process this up in the food processor until it gets to be a paste consistency. So it's not going to be all liquid, but it's going to be kind of like a paste. buy them fresh from the store, they should be fine. So I'll just scrape down the sides a little. This is a big sticky mess, but that's okay. Okay, there we go. There's our paste. I'll lift this out and I'll actually walk it around because it's hard to see. So there you can kind of see what it looks like. So it's not completely broken down, but it's a paste consistency. It's pretty thick. So we have that. And now let's do our dry ingredients. I'm gonna grab a bowl. Forgot that. Let's do, let's okay. So you just need a regular size, medium sized bowl. We are going to do one and a half cups of rolled oats. I just get these at Trader Joe's. They're gluten-free. This is what the bag looks like. It just says rolled oats. That's perfect for this recipe. You can find rolled oats almost anywhere. And if you are sensitive to gluten, you want to make sure you specify on the bag that they're gluten-free. And if you're not, then it's not a big deal, but I'm gluten-free, so I have to do that. <laughs> And so I like these ones from Trader Joe's because they come in a big, huge bag and it's not very expensive either. All right, so we have one and a half cups of rolled oats and then we also are going to add in about a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm just going to kind of eyeball that. And like I said, we're making blueberry maple pecan granola bars. And I'll tell you at the end how you can make this recipe with your own flavors and all that. And then we're also going to do chopped pecans. About one cup. There we go. And we're also going to do a half a cup of dried blueberries. I love dried blueberries in granola bars. It's so good. It's a nice change up from like the typical raisin or dried cranberry. All right, there's that. I'm just going to kind of toss it around, let it mix. That's how you do it without any utensils. <laughs> All right, that's our dry ingredients. That's it. Simple, right? Okay, so now it's time to put our date and maple syrup paste into the dry ingredients. So we're just going to scoop it out, put it in there. This is so good. This is what's going to hold the bar together so it doesn't fall apart. This smells so good. Maple syrup and dates and mmm, just smells amazing. Okay, so you want to scoop it all out of there as much as you can. All right, so then you just kind of use your spoon to mix it. It's not super easy to mix, but it takes a little a little, um, little time, but it's not that bad. Like I said, this is under 10 minutes. I mean, how many minutes has I, have I been going already? Not very long. So, you want to just make sure all the oats are mixed in well with that paste so everything is, is wet and starting to kind of stick together in the bowl already but you will also make it stick together more once we put it in the pan. And like I said, these are no-bake granola bars, so you don't even have to use an oven for these. Okay, that's about good. Perfect. Okay, so now we need an eight by eight baking dish. It's 
just to make the granola bar set. Like I said, we're not baking anything. And you want to line it with some parchment paper. I find it's the easiest because then you can just lift it right out and then cut the bars when they're set. So you can just, it doesn't have to even fit perfectly. You can just put it in. There we go. And as we put this in, it'll go down. So then you're just going to want to dump your oat mixture in the pan. Just like that. And then we're just going to use a spoon to press it down. You guys see? So it's the parchment paper lined baking sheet and then we just put the mix in there. So I'm pressing it down. And you want to make sure in this process you're pressing it down pretty well because what's going to make these bars stick together is how well they are kind of like mashed down. So we can do that or if you have another 8x8 baking dish, you can take that and put it on top. So I'll show you what that looks like. So we just take another sheet of parchment paper. We'll put it down, and then you kind of just press it down with your hands. And I have another baking dish. And then you're just going to kind of press it down like that, and then it makes it nice and flat. See? So press it down. Like I said, this is what keeps the bars together. Okay. Cool. So they're nice and flat. Look at that. Awesome. Okay. So now all you have to do is pop this in the freezer for about 20 minutes for it to set. And then they're going to be ready to go. You just take them out, pull the parchment out, and you can cut them into bars. And I will pull out the ones I made yesterday and show you what they look like. So I'll go put these in the freezer and I'll be right back. So now to show you the final product. So to go over that recipe real quick again, it was one cup of packed dates, a quarter cup of maple syrup, and two tablespoons of warm water in the food processor. Process that up till it forms a paste. And then you're going to mix it with one and a half cups of rolled oats, one teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a cup of dried blueberries, and one cup of chopped pecans. Okay, so now this is the final product. I wrapped them individually. And you can store these in the refrigerator or the freezer. So when they're, when they're done, I just cut them up and then I wrapped them individually in parchment paper. And then when you're ready to eat them, you just open them up and you have your granola bar. I'll walk it around. Probably gonna want it. See, it's a healthy homemade granola bar. Super yummy. And like I said, it's flavored blueberry maple pecan so I mean I don't know about you guys but that's just like it's I love those flavors together so that's how it works that's your super simple easy quick delicious healthy homemade granola bar and so you can see the ingredients are very very simple there's like six I think one two three four five six plus the water Six ingredients, all healthy, good for you, and all natural sugars. We're not using, you know, white table sugar. And so when you take them out, and if you want to cut them in like the skinnier bars, like I just showed you, you get 10, or you can cut them up. I also did little squares for like smaller size, snack size ones. Even though the bars are pretty small too, but sometimes you just want like two bites which is what these little squares are good for. And if you cut them into squares, you get about 12, 12 to 15 little squares, depending on how big you make them. So then you can just package them up, store them, you can store them in the freezer, and then when you uh, are leaving for the day and you need a snack, you can just throw one of them in your bag. And you can keep a bag full of them in your freezer or refrigerator. And then you have some healthy granola bars. So now let me tell you how to make this recipe your own. So you want to use the same base, but like I said, 
If you want to use honey instead of maple syrup, you can definitely do that. So that would just be a one-to-one -one ratio. So you could use a quarter cup of honey instead of maple syrup. And you want to use one cup of chopped nuts or seeds, whatever kind you like, and a half a cup of dried fruit. So you can mix it. You could do a quarter cup of dried blueberries and a quarter cup of dried cherries. Or you could do one, a half a cup of pumpkin seeds and a half a cup of almonds. So you can mix it however you like. You could do like a trail mix bar with all sorts of different things. But the general measurement for this is one cup total of nuts or seeds and a half a cup total of dried fruit. And then the rest of the ingredients and measurements are the same. But you can swap out maple syrup for honey or you can even use coconut syrup if you guys are familiar with that. So you just want to make sure whatever sweetener you're using, it's sticky, which most are. But you want it to be liquid and sticky so it makes that paste consistency. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And in 20 minutes, I'll have another tray of granola bars. I wish you guys, I wish I could like give them to you through the phone right now. <laughs> But you guys should make this recipe. It's, as you saw, really easy, really simple. Didn't take much time at all. And you can make it however you like. So if you wanted to do like honey and almonds, that would be really good. It just, it really depends on what you enjoy and what flavors you like. And you can make it your own, which is really awesome. So thank you for joining my video today. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will post the written recipe for this so you guys can have it in a hard copy if you didn't get everything written down. And I will see you guys later. Have a great day.